But it's important to note that according to the New York Times, all of these attempts on his life are Trump's fault. Yeah, this this yeah. is going to—I get so pissed at this bullshit right here. Hey, yep. Um, the New York Times devotedly follows the cardinal rule of liberalism, never blame the victim, at least for officially designated victims of American waithism and quathism. Slavery, for example, not higher rates of, of uh, criminal offending is responsible for blacks' unequal involvement in the criminal justice system. Well, actually, if you just boil it down to single mother homes, you explain virtually the entire criminal justice system. 85% of it. Yes. If yeah. unwed mothers are poor, the reason lies in heartless welfare rules, not the decision to have a child out of wedlock. Well. But when it comes to Donald Trump, victim blaming is de rigueur. <laughs> According to the Times, as a premier <laughs> Trump basher Peter Baker, Trump is responsible for the attempted ass ass I nations against him. At the heart of today's eruption of political violence is Mr. Trump, a figure who seems to inspire people to make threats or take actions both for him and against him. Trump inspires the attacks against him. Oh my That's god. That's such bullshit. <laughs> Well, by that rationale, that you can just blame anybody, yeah, for for getting shed. Like, I'm sorry, hard pass. No. Do you know how many times I've been attacked online when I uh, would talk about some of this essay bullshit? No shit. And they're like, I should be able to walk home through anywhere I want at at, at any time of the day or night, and I should not be harassed. I'm like, okay, you but cannot. Let, let's just get this straight here. <laughs> If you walk into the lion's den wearing a suit made of steak <laughs> yeah. and you get attacked, is it just the lion's fault? Let, 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 let me ra- let's wrap this. Wow. I, I can't understand this. Well, I mean, it, it couldn't possibly be. I mean, it, so according to him, it's because Trump is causing division, right? Yeah, he, he's the one who is sowing division. It couldn't possibly be anybody else. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick them. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? Biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Mm-hmm. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. There you, go. you don't even need to see any more than that, do you? Wow. So, yeah, feel free. Keep pointing fingers and accusing other people of what you're guilty of. We'll see how long that works. Hey, Skid, you're Darth Vadering. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's fine now. Still you're good. You're good. No, you're, you're good now, but you were, for a minute there, you were like, what like the you're hell? Like doing oh, a dude. dirty phone call when you're eight years old by breathing heavy into the mic. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, j- just so everybody's clear, um, if you're if you have a D after your name, you're a victim. Uh, if you have an R after your name, uh, you're never a victim. You are perpetrating your own victimhood. Correct. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.